GM placed considering all the plant panels are placed where I want them to be and now it's time to move on to cloth effects so in this case what I'm gonna do is select garment maker and I'm gonna put cloth effects on it and I'm gonna make the non bias dress form cloth I'm just gonna make sure it's the the default of course I'm gonna leave everything pretty much as it is and I'm gonna add my non bias generic man and I'm gonna make him a collision object say 0.35 and I will say okay make sure I got that right okay so it's ready let's go ahead and run the first simulate local let's turn off gravity for the time being Sim self collision is on use sewing springs is on let's do a simulate local here and here it goes takes a second to kinda get ramped up it's actually building the skirt I'll hit stop there now believe it or not I had uh, I had scaled this one up using um, an X4 modifier so that's why this the skirt seemed to kind of balloon up a little bit is that it had um, an X form on it that uh, expanded it and so that's why it's pushing everything up all of these little kind of uh, funky bits that you see right there those will come into line when I turn on gravity and and let it simulate local a little bit more let's go ahead and leave that one for right now what I want to do is do the same thing here I'm going to go to cloth effects my bias dress form will also be the default and I'm going to turn on that and then in this case I'm going to choose the gener generic man bias and again same collision properties and I'll say okay there and again gravity's turned off sewing springs are turned on let's go ahead and hit simulate local and this one will start to pull together as well hit stop now of course these two dresses are a little bit different here in fact they're a lot different um, and I think that's really due to the fact that I have an X form that I baked into this one um, and so we're just gonna see how the different clothing works so at this point I'm gonna turn off you sewing springs I'm going to hit simulate local damped to snap all those seams together. And so it's going to snap all those together here. And then I'll select this one and do the same thing. Turn you sewing springs off. Simulate local damped. So it's now snapped itself together. Now remember, this is bias cut cloth. This is non-bias cut cloth. And now what I want to do is for each one, I'm going to set a group. Let's go to the front view. And let's go into wireframe. Grab all those, make sure I've got as many as I can in a single pass. So I'll delete out all the extra ones that I just grabbed. Whoops. Go, now chances are yeah, I thought I might have grabbed a few extras up front. Okay, so that's the waistband. 
call it waistband. Say OK, and I'm going to attach it to this surface. And now I'm going to go back in and I'm going to select all of these. I'm going to call this skirt verts. And you'll see why in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and get out. And then back in shaded mode. What I can do is I can turn gravity back on now. And I'm going to simulate local so that this dress should now drape instead of kind of bunching and all those things. And of course, considering I've got vertices up here that are holding it in place, it's going to fall like I would expect. See, it's actually all draping down. I'm getting the, the skirt to align itself the way it should. Okay, so now that one's pretty much ready to simulate. Let's go and do the same thing here. So again, front viewport. Let's go into wireframe. And go to group. And I'm going to select something like that. And then I'm going to zoom in and start deselecting a lot of these extra verts that I'm not going to need. This is where lasso gets really handy. Okay. So I'm going to make a group, waist, line, non-bias. Just so as I start getting into this, I'll be able to kind of tell these apart. Surface, as such. Now, considering this one's kind of spread out, I'm going to do something kind of nifty. I'm going to tell it, whoops, I want solid collision, but I'm going to tell it to use properties, sub-object properties, and in this case, I'm going to scale these down quite a bit so that these verts tend to shrink in and tend to kind of suck in around the waist. Oh, let's go back into skirt and looking at it kind of head on select all of those and I'm going to call this skirt verts non-bias. 